two common trees that are often mistaken for each other in eastern North America are the invasive tree of heaven and the native sumacs. Both tree of heaven and the sumac thrive in disturbed areas and can often be found growing together, which only adds to the confusion in identifying them. So how do you tell them apart? So you can control tree of heaven without wiping out beneficial native sumacs. Let's start with spring and summer identification when the trees have leaves. Both tree of heaven and the sumacs for this video, the sumacs include the staghorn sumac, smooth sumac, and wing sumac, have pinnately compound leaves, which means they are shaped like a feather. While the tree of heaven leaves are usually longer and have more leaflets than sumac, this can be quite variable and is not an absolute way to tell the two apart. The leaflets themselves are much more telling. Tree of heaven has smooth leaflet edges, except for maybe a few large teeth at the base. And the staghorn and smooth sumac have toothed leaflet edges. Wing sumac typically does not have toothed leaflet edges, but there are distinctive wings down the stem of the leaf. As the trees bloom in late spring and early summer, and they both tend to bloom at the same time, Tree of Heaven will have large clusters of small white to yellow flowers at the tips of the branches. Sumacs have distinctive cone-shaped upright clusters of yellowish green flowers. When fruits form in late summer, those of Tree of Heaven will be green to red Samaras that hang in loose clusters and will turn brown as they age. The cone-shaped clusters of sumac fruit will start off brown and turn a brilliant red as the fruits ripen. There is no mistaking these two trees when ripe fruit are present. If you love being able to identify the trees on your property, be sure to identify that like button. Things get a little tougher in the fall and winter after the leaves fall. Sumac will hold its distinctive fruit clusters well into winter, and Tree of Heaven may retain some seed clusters after the leaves fall. But if there are no fruit present, we must look at the leaf scars. Tree of Heaven will have large, heart-shaped leaf scars, and the bud will be partially encircled by the top of the heart. Sumac also has heart-shaped leaf scars, but the bud is surrounded by the leaf scar, with the bud centered in the scar. The sumacs have many traits in common, as you might have guessed by now, and can also be confusing to tell apart from each other. If you'd like a video about how to tell the three common pinnately leafed sumacs apart, let me know down in the comments. The sap that flows from a cut twig is also an excellent clue. The sumacs have sticky, milky sap, and the tree of heaven has clear sap. You can also give the cut twig a sniff. Sumac doesn't really have much of a smell. Tree of heaven smells anything but heavenly. It stinks like rancid peanut butter. Yuck. I would like to take a quick moment to thank everybody who has helped support the channel by subscribing and those that have gone above and beyond to help support the channel financially through Patreon, PayPal Donate, and through the Backyard Ecology community. That's right. Backyard Ecology has its own community, which is an ongoing program to help you create, improve, maintain, and enjoy pollinator and wildlife habitat on your property. If you would like to join other backyard ecologists in helping to support the channel, there are links in the description to our Patreon, PayPal Donate, and to our website where you can learn all about the backyard ecology community. We also have super thanks enabled on the channel if you'd like to support us that way, and it can be found just below this video right in that area. Thank you again for all your support. Tree of Heaven looks like quite a few of our native trees, at least at first glance. Another tree it is often confused with is the black walnut. And you can learn how to tell Tree of Heaven apart from it in this video, and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.